What's up guys, Complies here. First off, I just want to say thank you for all the support recently. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. Yeah, you heard me right, 5,000 subscribers. We've gained almost 3K subs over the past month. So thank you guys so much. We also just reached 1,000 followers on Twitch and we just hit 100 subs last night. So once again, thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving me. It means a lot. So today's video is going to have two parts. The first part is going to be talking about a couple of settings that you need to change so you can improve your tracking just a little bit. Now, this isn't going to make your tracking godlike instantly, but I do think it's going to help you guys in the long run if you don't have these settings on already so you're gonna want to stick around and find out what those are and at the end of the tips i'll be doing a little montage that i threw together with some recent clips that i've gotten so yeah guys that's what the video is going to be but before i get the video started you know i have to do this real quick now like i say in all my other videos please remember to like comment and subscribe if you like my videos or if this channel gives you any value or has helped you at all it would really mean a lot currently only around nine people who watch my videos are subscribed so if we could bump that number up just a little bit it would mean a lot to me and also guys don't forget to turn on that notification bell i upload tips and tricks least once a week so if you guys are looking to get better at apex please turn that notification bell on i also have the link to my social medias in the description below i have a twitter instagram tiktok twitch discord so if you're looking to get in touch with me twitter would be the easiest way is that's the one i use the most if you guys have any questions at all or you need people to play with feel free to join the discord so most importantly be sure to follow my twitch to see me play apex daily the stream has been popping off lately so if you want to come by say hi hang out for a little bit i'd really appreciate it the link to that will be in the description below as well as all my other social medias so yeah guys please be sure to check some of those out i'd really appreciate it a lot but anyways guys let's get right into this video so recently i've had a couple of people ask me about hit markers whether you should leave them on or not and i know lyric just did a video on this as well but he didn't really go too in depth with it as it's mostly just gameplay from a stream where you turn the hit markers off so first why would you turn off hit markers the argument would be like you know you want to see when you're hitting somebody so you have that visual feedback so you know that you're hitting them you know you're aiming right but in apex when you hit your shot you also get a sound indication as well and i'll show you guys that real quick so as long as you're getting that sound feedback and you know you're hitting your shots, there really isn't a reason to have an extra X on the screen. It's just going to be more visual cluttering and more stuff to focus on instead of aiming at your target. And that's why you guys are going to want to go ahead and turn that setting off. I think that it's helped my tracking a ton as I'm focusing on the target instead of focusing on that X and whether I'm hitting it. Now there are a lot of pros who have this setting on as well, and I was really surprised to see how many people have this setting disabled. So yeah guys, I would really recommend to go ahead and give that a try. I think it's going to help you guys a lot as you'll be focusing on tracking the actual target instead of having to focus on the hit markers while also tracking your target. So I know this video wasn't too in-depth or anything, but this is just something that I see a lot of people not taking advantage of. So I just wanted to get this out there and let you guys know that this is a setting I think you guys should be trying. If you guys want more tips and tricks, feel free to check out my last few videos. I've had a few good things in those. And in the description below, I will also leave a link to the other Apex tutorials that I have out. So just one more time before I end this video and get into the montage, I'll show you guys a setting one more time. So you go into your settings, gameplay, you go three down, crosshair damage feedback. A lot of it is going to be X or X with shield icon. Just go ahead and turn that off. Now you'll still be able to know when the shields break you get an audio indicator and you also know whenever you're hitting your shots because you'll also have an audio indicator for that as well it'll just make it a lot easier to track and a lot easier to focus on your target but yeah anyways guys i hope this video helps you like i said in the beginning if this video does help you and you do enjoy it and you find my content valuable please remember to leave a like comment and don't forget to subscribe remember to check out my other social medias in the description below and please leave a follow on my twitch guys so you can watch me play apex daily anyways guys that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this little montage i put together with some recent clips i've gotten from the past week or so and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace